You know, when I found out that you were alive, I didn't want to meet you. Because I didn't want to unravel what Jack had always told me. It has been a long time since I've been in a room with somebody who has memories of him that I don't know. But... Do you have any fun stories about your childhood? Well, it's not childhood worth remembering. Well, he never really told me a whole lot about you. He told you I died because uh, he wished I was dead. The kids told me what happened. Sounds horrific and, and very complicated. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, for what it's worth, right before he passed away, Jack was newly sober and he was opening up in ways he never had before. And I obviously don't know for sure, but I... I think he would have found his way back to you. Well, he missed his chance. Yeah, he did. But you still have a chance to make things right because I'm here. And his son is here. And Kevin is, oh, he's always been tricky. He's harder to define. Thanks for coming. It's great meeting you, Kevin. Thank you. What did you say during your big moment with John Smiley? Nothing. I asked him to sign my card and he signed it. I have to pee. Can, can, can you wait? Yeah, here, I'll hold your stuff. Go pee. Thank it's you. right there. Go, go. Hi, sorry, excuse me, Mr. Smiley? Yes? Hi, you, you just met my son. You signed his rookie card for him? I was wondering what you guys were talking about. Uh, he wanted to tell me where I could shoot pool in Minneapolis. What? You read in the paper I'm going to get traded to the Twins, which could happen. And he has my rookie card, so. John enjoys hunting, karate, shooting pool. <laughs> Watching drag racing and going to the beach. Yeah, he said he took a travel guide out of his school library. Gave me a list of karate centers, too. I didn't even know that Kevin knew his school had a library. He said he just wanted to make sure I was happy. Wherever I ended up. The special little boy you have. And I run into a lot of them. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Of course. Nice to, meet you. nice to meet you. Hey, I hope you don't get traded. Yeah, me too. I know he seems like he has it all. He's tall and he's handsome and he seems so confident, but really underneath all of that, he's just a sensitive little boy. And he's had a really tough year. He is newly sober, just like his father. And he's just worried about you. He's worried about your health. He's worried about your leaky roof because he cares. This is so important to him. You are already so important to him because, because you're family to him already. So let me get this straight. Um, the message here is uh, shape up Nikki because the kid needs a win. No, that's not what I'm saying. I, I'm not a prop, Rebecca. I'm not. Kevin sees me as family. Well. You know how I see him? I, I, I see him as a tall, blonde kid who pulled me from my home. The only place I'm comfortable. So a uh, movie star could, uh, you know, be a real-life hero for a day. 